So choosing a med school is going to affect you for the rest of your life, obviously. But for some reason, I had so many students in the past that always chose a medical school based on the weirdest, irrelevant reasons, which I completely understand why, because I chose med school based on the same reasons. But I wish someone told me back then, listen, stop, wait for a second. Here is a list of things you should actually account for when choosing a medical school. So this is what we are going to do in this video. Hi, my name is Ari, I'm a medical student at the University of Pavia, and I teach hundreds of medical students on a yearly basis. And one of the questions they usually ask me is, how should I choose a medical school? What is the right way to choose medical school? So over the past few years, I curated this list of questions that you should ask yourself and ask others about the medical school you're going to choose. And then, only then, if you're convinced enough to choose a medical school, and you know all of the details we are going to talk in this video, then go for it. But if you don't know the details that I'm going to share in this video, I would wait a minute and double check my decision because it's really, really important. So before we dive into how to choose a medical school, let's discuss how not to choose a medical school. And you shouldn't choose a medical school based on a single opinion. For example, back when I was in high school and I was looking online for a medical school, I, started, I stumbled upon this guy who studied medicine or veterinary in Pavia specifically. And he was the only guy I knew that studies in Pavia. And I asked him many, many questions. He was super nice, super helpful. And I was like, oh, wow, if this helpful guy studies in Pavia, I should study in Pavia because he shares so many stories and so many good things about the university itself. Although he didn't study in my own course and he studied in a completely different one. But the thing is, he had a very specific point of view of the University of Pavia. And I might find the university in a completely different light. So choose a university based on a single point of view from a single person is a very bad idea because you don't know what are the other factors that might affect you over the next few years. It might be a better idea to actually choose multiple people from the same course you're going to study in for multiple years. Why? Because think about it. Maybe in the fifth year, they have a horrible professor, for example. And the experience of the entire class is that we really don't like Pavia, we want to just find a different university. On the other hand, a third year, for example, will have the best clinical rotations they ever had, and it's such a great experience, and they really like the university. So asking multiple people from multiple years is a very, very good idea. How do you find multiple people for multiple years? You can go to LinkedIn and search by the university. You can go to Facebook and search by the university. You can meet someone and then ask them, hey, can you maybe connect me to someone else? Maybe someone from my country, maybe someone that speaks the language, maybe someone that knows more about dicks. And be super nice and super friendly because usually many people ask people questions, the medical students questions. So be super nice and super friendly and just don't ask too many questions and try to kind of ask multiple, multiple people a few questions every time so they won't get a bit annoyed and then you will find yourself reaching many many people if you have the nice and a good approach to ask questions different people so this way you can kind of network and find yourself meeting and asking many people from a specific university that you want to go to even before you apply to this university so it's really important another thing that is extremely important is the location of the university so i study at the university of pavia pavia is a small tiny city it's a village in the north of Italy. There is nothing to do, the population is super old, they barely speak English, but it's pretty much a small student village, kind of. You have a very specific set of things to do every day when you want to go out, a very specific store you need to go when you want to get groceries, for example. So it really depends on you. Ask yourself, am I a social person? Do I care about going out? And factor, in it, factor it in when you choose a university. So I don't really care about social life right now. I'm in, France with, I'm in France with my partner, so I don't really care about going out in Italy and stuff because I just travel and I do whatever. So ask yourself if you're going to study in the city itself and you're never going to live. Am I going to go crazy in the next few years because I don't have anything to do? Or is it okay and I will be fine? Another very important question to ask yourself is where the actual campus is compared to the location of living. So in Torino, for example, in Italy, the campus is so far, 50 minutes by bus from the center when you actually live, which makes it very difficult to go to university every single day. 
So every day you need to wake up, prepare and take the bus for 50 minutes, even in the winter, in, in the rain, in, even in the snow. And it's a, we will talk about the weather in a second. And you're going to find yourself just going back and forth every day, wasting two hours a day just traveling and not studying. The library locations are pretty far from there as well. So if you want to study, you need to go to the center and check for a library. So it's something to really think about. Ask the students where the actual campus is, as well as the cafeteria, the libraries, the location of the things you go out, the rent prices, where people actually live, where is the best place to live. Maybe find some um, places and websites where they show you different pictures of houses and prices. Get to really know the city before you choose a city and prioritize choosing a city before you choose the university because this is the place you're going to spend years and years of your life. It's very, very important. Another very important thing is the scholarship. So some universities in Italy and in general in the world have some scholarship problems. What do I mean? It means that there are very limited place to the people to get scholarships. So I hear this story from the University of Turin that they need to wait almost one day, like hours and hours in the rain, in the night, they just come and make a line in front of the scholarship building just to get a scholarship. So it's something to really think about and think and ask the students before you choose a university, especially if you are going to rely on a scholarship, make sure that the scholarship is actually approachable and obtainable to you. So you might find yourself not getting a scholarship just because of these minor things. And maybe it's better to choose maybe a bigger city and a place with more scholarship seats just to avoid finding yourself without a scholarship for an entire year, which can be a huge problem for some reason, for some people. Another very important thing is the visa issue. If you're going to study in a country that requires you to get a visa, some cities in that country might be a bit problematic. For example, University of Pavia, the university I study at, you need to wait a long time until you get a visa. A long, long time. It means that you can't go back home until you get that visa. It means that you won't see your family, you won't see your family, or your parents until you get that visa. It's very, very important to think about something like this. A different city might have a better situation in terms of visa. You might get a visa in a few weeks. Pavia, I wait for years and years. Some of my friends wait over waited for so, so many months, it just, it's sometimes, I mean, you really need to find a place where they have good bureaucracy as much as possible. It's really important, especially if you plan on going back and forth, for example, from your country to the country you study medicine at. Another thing to remember is accommodation. So in some cities, the renting price are pretty low, and in some cities, the renting price are very, very high. But another thing to, which is very important to remember is that the quality of the building itself. So in smaller cities, it might be very affordable, but on the other hand, the building might be very old, very low quality, with very bad framework and uh, uh, heating, for example, in the building. So it's something that is very, very important to remember. On the other hand, you have places like Milan and Rome and other cities around the world that are bigger cities, and it won't be as similar problem as it is, but you will need to make sure and you will need to notice that Living at the center can be super expensive and living in a renovated place can be super expensive. So you need to consider it. Go to different websites and find specific housing solutions. Talk with students, ask them about how much they pay rent, their bills, their grocery bills. Very, very important to know it before you choose a university. Also remember that during the first year, you will have a lot of unexpected expenses, like a mattress, a new bed, a new closet, for example, that you didn't even plan on buying in the beginning. So make sure you have this buffer in terms of budget in the very early stages and make sure you can actually get good quality stuff in that city. Another very important thing to talk about is the ranking. Now, ranking is a bit problematic. I'm talking about the average universities. So when choosing an average university, the ranking doesn't really matter, honestly. Because the ranking is usually based on how many people graduate every year and how much research the university conducts on a yearly basis. These things, they're important, but they are not very relevant to you specifically because you're going to study in a very specific course and the level of education and the level of the professors, the quality of the professors, is really different than the ranking of the university. So it can be the best university in the world, but the professors for your specific course won't be that good. 
compared to the ranking of the university. So the best way to choose university is not based on a ranking, but is based on asking actual students from your specific course specific questions about the quality of the teachers, the clinical rotations, the gear in the hospital, how much clinical experience you get, things that are actually important before you choose a medical school. Not the ranking of the university because it's not really relevant to you specifically. Another thing that is important for me personally is the cultural food and the community for my own country. So I'm from Israel, I wanted to have some Israelis around me. And Pavia had this option because I knew it back then when I talked in high school in this, with this guy on Facebook. So I chose this specifically, this city specifically because you can find like Middle Eastern food and a lot of Israeli people and students. So it's really, it was really important to me. So this is why I chose it. Some people don't really care about it, which is fine, but knowing if you will have it or not is a very good idea. If you are going to study in your own country, it's not really relevant, but if you are going to study medicine abroad, it's very relevant and it's some good questions to add when you ask some students is how many people from X country there are, communities, even like spices in the shop, can you find like food that I can eat when you have a specific religion and you need specific store and a specific type of meat, for example. You really need to ask this type of questions before choosing a city and university you're going to study for the next like almost seven years of your life. Another important thing is the public transportation and transportation in general in the city. So in Pavia, for example, you can get for 25 bucks unlimited amount of bus rides, and it's pretty cool, it's pretty affordable, and the public transportation is pretty nice in Pavia. But in some city, it's a completely different story, and it's way more expensive, or it's not as good as different cities. So ask these questions, especially if your campus is so far, especially when your campus might be so far from the center, you want a good public transportation. Imagine the combination of bad public transportation and far away campus every day during the winter. It's not something you want to go through. If you're going to study medicine abroad, for example, in Germany or in Italy or in France, you're going to cross, you're going to face the language barrier. Some cities speak English better than others, it's true, but I highly suggest just learning the local language even before you apply to the med school. It's really important and it will be super important during the actual clinical rotations when you're going to spend hours and hours interacting with patients and gaining the most important part and the important knowledge of medical school, the clinical experience, which is way more important than the actual things you can study on your own, the theory itself, because you can study it using YouTube, using whatever, but when it comes to the clinical experience, this is the most important part, and you want to make the best out of it, it means that you need to learn the language of the locals. So you can interact with the patients, with the, with the professors, with the doctors, and you can get ex actual experience in med school. So this is kind of the list of things I tell my students to think about before they choose a med school. I believe they are way more important than just the ranking or just the level of um, popularity of the university and the city and the name of the university. Remember that the university you're going to choose, you're going to spend the next good amount of your 20s, seven years of your life, usually, in that university. And choosing a university only based on ranking or based on name, I won't say it's a mistake, but I would say it might cause you to choose a university in a city you don't really like, and it will make your med studies, which are already hard enough, it will make your med studies very challenging for no reason. So choose a university based on what you actually like, the city you want to go through, how social you are, the level of education, uh, some feedback from students for multiple years, social events. And another important thing that I want to talk about is the student organization. Sometimes it exists, sometimes it doesn't. A student organization, a good student organization, is something that can be very beneficial in case when you need notes, social events, meeting people, networking with more med students, Studying in a more efficient way, getting study materials, helping each other, getting past papers. It's really, really important to have this good student organization. So I would personally prioritize universities that have a well-established student organization. And when the multi-years, the years help each other to get notes and past, year, past papers, for example, compared to a university that the students don't really help each other. It's something that can really change your experience in med school, and it will really increase and make you 
pretty much, I would say, fall in love with the experience and get a real university experience in medical school. This is what you should focus on. If you like this video, don't forget to like, and if you have any more questions, make sure to comment them down below. I really hope this video helped you out. This is pretty much what I tell my students over the past few years before they choose a med school. This is what you need to think about, this is what you need to consider, and it's really, really important to really sit down, make a list, talk to students, and ask yourself the real hard question. Don't choose a university based on the ranking, or based on numbers, or based on reputation. Choose a university based on the following things, at least in my opinion. See you next time.